What it do, YouTube? It's late night with your boy Tony Pogue. You know we react to stuff on this channel. Don't be silly. Today, it's called I Wish Iran Had Good Luck. Five military secrets accidentally leaked online. Dark Five. Let's react. Let's get it. Hey, yo. Classified game leaks. It's no secret that committed gamers can be passionate in their discussions about their favorite video games. Oh Still, yeah, gamers can be passionate. Combination game that contains authentic military vehicles and players who possess unique knowledge of these vehicles has led to some interesting outcomes, particularly when that knowledge might be classified. Owing to the accuracy of its gameplay mechanics, one particular online game has perhaps unsurprisingly attracted many players with military backgrounds and first-hand experience with real-life versions of the in-game vehicles. Occasionally, in attempts to win online arguments, these players have posted potentially classified information on the game's online forum. Well, shit, dumbass. One example was a discussion in which a player named Red Cross attempted to prove the exact turret rotation speed of the French Leclerc main battle tank featured in the game. Wow. Red Cross's response to the challenger of his claims involved illustrating his point by posting segments taken from the official Leclerc Gunner's Manual under the not-so-subtle title of a secret document. He then went on to brag about their hands-on experience with the vehicle, which drew the attention of forum moderators, resulting in them removing the post and sensitive wow. documents. Wow. This was just one of several occurrences. What a dumbass. You don't want to be tried for treason for doing something dumb like that. That is some dumb shit. ...of the game's forums, playing host to the discussion of potentially classified information. Earlier the same year, the UK Ministry of Defense was forced to warn a player that they were risking violating the Official Secrets Act by posting sensitive documents to win an argument about the size of the gap between the hull and turret on a Challenger 2 tank. While forum hey, what the hell, man? moderators and officials quickly find and remove potential leaks, similar instances continue. In January 2023, the main topic of discussion shifted from the details of the tanks represented in-game to those of the aircraft. Oh my god. Y'all can't be leaking. In the space of just two days, aircraft in January data. 2023, two separate leaks about two different aircraft, the F-16 Falcon and the F-15E Strike Eagle fighter jet, were posted by two other players. To win That's an argument, better. one player posted details about the targeting capabilities of the F-16. Oh yeah, post about, about the targeting capabilities. That's a good idea. Immediately after, another player posted operational flight program software manuals for the F-15E. Moderators quickly removed both leaks. Some of you might already know which game I've been talking about. Of course, it's War Thunder, the most comprehensive huh. vehicle combat game ever created. Use the link on the screen and in the video description to support Dark Five and play War Thunder now. War PC, Thunder! PlayStation or Xbox. Experience the recent Sky Guardians update that has brought even more aircraft and vehicles to the game, including special versions of the F 16A, the German MiG 29, and the Yak 141. Every vehicle is highly detailed and modeled down to its individual components, Damn. offering a highly immersive combat experience. The full collection of vehicles in War Thunder spans over a hundred years of history. Jump into dynamic combined arms PvP battles with more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships. Multiple playstyles offer fast War Thunder got matches, huge. Nuclear flashcards. Flashcards are a popular tool for helping with the memorization of information, particularly among students. But this method is also used by critical military personnel to help them commit to memory highly sensitive nuclear security codes. Uh -oh, Previously leaked uh, documents had suggested the existence of American nuclear weapons being kept in Europe, including some of the precise locations of missile bases. This information has been confirmed in statements made by retired military officials. However, the stakes hit a new high when a series of digital flashcards were accidentally exposed online. In addition to the locations, procedures, and camera coverage of these supposedly secret missile bases, the flashcards also contained, quote, details around the composition of passwords, usernames, and whether they can include wow. spaces. 
these sensitive sets of flashcards, which were accidentally saved as public instead of private on digital apps like Chegg and Quizlet, were archived before the Pentagon was aware of the leak. Idiot. Most had been found using a simple Google search, combining common nuclear weapons terminology with the names of US airbases in Europe. While authorities have gone to great lengths to scrub them from the internet, multiple sets of flashcards can still be viewed online by anyone. Among other sensitive pieces of information, the online flashcards contained information regarding military jargon, such as acronyms, code words, definitions, radio protocols, and procedures. From these cards, in addition to the precise locations of some nuclear launch sites, the number of nuclear missiles has been determined, including the number of these which are considered oh, hot shit. or armed and ready for deployment. The notion of a military institution using such a shallow and ill-thought-out system has come under fire from experts, one of whom stated that such methods are Dumbasses. ultimately degrading the educational experience. But never in a million years would I think that lazy servicemen would use them to degrade nuclear security. While authorities may be reluctant to discuss the now widely known existence of these nuclear weapons scattered across Europe, local polls show support for having them disarmed and removed. Strava. In November 2017, the San Francisco-based tech company Strava released a map that displayed the activity of all the users of its fitness tracking system. Popular among joggers and cyclists, Strava tracks the exercise of its users using GPS data. Although designed to record and track personal fitness so it can be shared with friends, Strava was unaware of exactly how much it would disclose with its map, which contained more than 3 trillion individual GPS data points. God damn. It wasn't long before analysts, including those working for the military, identified ways the map could reveal some highly sensitive information. due to the app's popularity with military personnel. One such analyst noted that the map, quote, looks very pretty, but that, quote, US bases are clearly identifiable and mappable. Well, the map revealed care. regular routes frequently run or jogged by soldiers in training. It also appears to show bases in Turkey and Syria, and some light markers over known Russian bases. Well done, dummies. According to various media outlets, emergency meetings were called, and the U.S. military decided to review security policies in light of the Strava dataset release. Some have pointed out that the map levels the playing field, with many nations having their secret locations exposed. However, as the U.S. has the world's most significant military presence, it can be argued that it stands to lose the most. Well, hell. USA-224. What's USA-224? On August... What is this? August 30th, 2019, then US President Donald Trump tweeted a satellite image depicting the aftermath of an accident that occurred when Iran was preparing to launch a Safir rocket the previous day. The image showcased a high level of clarity and detail. Military commentators online quickly expressed concern that the image could potentially reveal the capabilities of top-secret U.S. spy satellites. Analysts and amateur hobbyists determined that the photo had been taken by a highly powerful reconnaissance satellite called USA-224. Hell These yeah. deductions were based on factors including the unusually high resolution of the image, the lack of distortion, and the position of the shadows. Analysts then match that information with the known orbits of mystery satellites previously launched by the military. The image shows that the rocket failed to launch, exploding on the launch pad and damaging the service tower and surrounding facilities. The accompanying tweet read, quote, The United States of America was not involved in the catastrophic accident during final launch preparations for the Safir launch. They watching everything, boy. Revealed that the rocket had exploded during refueling, but made no comment regarding the nature of the leak. 
That's goddamn crazy. The U.S. man, they watching you from above. publishing of sensitive intelligence and social media drew criticism from many who suggested that the president was undermining national security at a time when geopolitical tensions between the U.S. and Iran were running exceptionally high. According to sources, he had requested to keep a copy of the image in a routine briefing just an hour before posting it online, presumably without knowing how sensitive it was. This incident was followed by some discussion concerning whether the tweeted image was classified. It has recently been confirmed that it was indeed considered to contain sensitive information at the time. Swing Feng 3. Swing Feng 3. Sounds like a video game. In early 2023, Wait, reports Feng suggested three. that the Taiwanese military had accidentally sent at least one highly secret optical instrument to mainland China for repair raising oh, significant security concerns. The optical instrument is used when making launch measurements for the Taiwanese Shengfeng-3 anti-ship missile. The Shengfeng-3 is an advanced land-to-sea missile whose name translates to Brave Wind and can deliver a 225-kilogram warhead to its target at supersonic speeds. That's some shit, but though. Taiwan sees itself as an individual sure nation, all the way in. culturally and legally distinct from mainland China, despite its attempts to unify them. China's tactics have recently involved a heightened military presence in the waters around Taiwan. These tensions have emphasized the importance of Taiwan's ability to defend itself against naval attacks and invasions, and the Shengfeng-3 anti-ship missile is a crucial component of this defense system. The device in question is known as a theodolite, which is not a component of the missile itself, but part of the launch system designed to calculate the angles and directions in which weapons are launched. While its memory that card that had the, moved, the broader implications of this incident are cause for concern. The oversight has prompted widespread criticism. One expert from the Taiwan Institute of Defense Security Research confessed, quote, Of course, we would not want such equipment to be sent to China for repair. Taiwan must be more strict and careful in its contract management. Although initially supplied by a Swiss company, the manufacturer's maintenance center in the Chinese city of Qingdan was responsible for making the necessary repairs. It is the location of this facility that has led some to suggest the possibility of Chinese infiltration. Ultimately, thorough checks determined that the device had not been tampered with and contained no malware or modifications. The incident only came to the public's attention in recent months. For this reason, the ramifications remain to be seen, including whether this will trigger a bolstering of Taiwanese military defenses or upgrade the security safeguards used. One clear thing, however, is that the Taiwanese military's lax approach to maintaining their equipment is certainly not the first military Bad oversight Taiwan. that regards national and international security. I mean, Taiwan do needs to pull their socks up. Like, they got China, which is a, a formidable enemy to have. Y'all can't be leaking stuff like that, man. And it's doubtful to be the last. Leaky squeaky. If you love military history and modern military technology and vehicles, jump into the PvP action of War Thunder and support Dark Fire. Yeah, we I heard enough about War Thunder there, but that was a reaction to a video by... Dark Five. I wish Iran good luck. Pop. Subscribe. Drop me a comment. I love my comments. Easy peasy.